trailer for a loadout and I end up they, they end up letting me use the trailer for a couple days as long as I returned it back to I what they I will turn in or they or they put uh PA term um within the next you know several days or so and um well, it was by Saturday no later than Monday so I'm under this load got a load from Procter and Gamble St. Louis area. Got that yesterday. Supposed to pick this load up at two at two thirty. Had a two thirty pickup. Get there. I got there. I want to say like around a little bit, like around two fifteen. Got on a lot at like two twenty. Uh, two twenty. Next thing you know. I check in, go drop the trailer. I go to the bobtail lot, sitting there. They ain't get this damn trailer loaded until like 10 something that night. So I end up, mind you, it was a 6.30 in the morning delivery. So of course I couldn't make the 6.30 time. I had to do a 10 hour reset. Hooked up to the trailer this morning, headed on up here. They asked for my ETA one time, would I be here? I told them I'll probably be there but, uh, about 3.30. I get a message from them pretty much saying they reschedule my um, delivery time until six tomorrow morning. That's no good because they want this trailer to be returned Saturday no later than Monday. So I end up working out a situation with him to where you know he was willing to receive the trailer no later than Tuesday. Okay, cool. Now, I go, I'm go. i about to drop this trailer so that I can run and go grab me something to eat. And, anyway, I don't even know how the fuck this shit happened, but I'm gonna show y'all what happened. So, when I was driving on my way up here, I kept hearing like, uh, like, like two or three times when I went to stop at a light, my low air pressure warning came on like two, three times. And then when I got out, let off the brake and started rolling, it stopped. And I'm like, like, why is it doing that? Didn't think too much of it. And I'm, I'm finna go to unhook from the trailer. This is what I see. My, my blue airline was all the way hanging over there. I'm like, what the hell my airline? Look up, this damn piece. Snapped off. How the fuck this happened, I have no idea. So the airline, the airline won't even, I can't even connect the airline. Because it's nothing for this part to hook on to. As you can see, this is how it's supposed to be, like that. That part is broke. I can't even put the glad hand on to even properly secure this shit. So I can't I can't even this, this is crazy. So now I gotta contact this broker and let him know 
that this shit didn't happen. I, I, I don't even know how it happened. I can't even explain how this happened. And now, chances are he gonna have to contact Ro, uh, Rosa uh, to have them come on and put another whatever the hell this is on here. I don't know if that's something that I'm gonna have to cover or if they gonna cover. I have no idea what the fuck to even say in this situation or doing this situation. This is crazy, man. It's crazy. Like, it's literally, look, this day just keeps getting better and better. But I ain't gonna trip. It is what it is. I'm finna unhook from this trailer. I'm finna email this broker, tell him what happened, and hopefully this ain't some shit that I gotta pay for out of pocket, because it ain't like I, I told some shit up, like I don't even know how the hell that could even happen, I have no idea, but hey, it is what it is, see y'all later, so this is the next day from when I was uh, just making that video. I had no intention on even making that now, to be honest, because I thought I was going to call Roadside. But fortunately for me, um, I found out what that piece was called. I had no idea what it was called. I was looking up all kind of stuff. I was looking up glad hand holder on the trailer, female glad hand connector. I was looking up all kind of stuff. But, Amongst one of them searches, I ended up finding some finding some parts. They had them all over the place on Amazon, different type of sites. And I ended up finding a real name to that piece. And the name is a glad hand angle mount. So you can get it either the angle head, the angle, the glad hand service, which is the blue, or the glad hand emergency, which is the red. And it's the angle mount. They got one at an advanced auto, not too far from where I am. And I'm finna unhook from this trailer, ride over here, go get this piece from advanced auto. And I'm finna go ahead and install it myself so that myself or the broker who uh, I'm in communication with about this trailer don't have to worry about doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out and I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. So, I made the run to get the parts. So, this is it right here. I end up getting this with advanced auto. But, yeah, so I had to go to advanced auto to get that piece. And then I had to go to uh, Lowe's to get a wrench. Yeah, so I just end up getting an adjustable wrench. This will be changing pretty much. You gotta remove those two bolts, and then you gotta remove this, and then get this uh, this fitting out of here. Take that off, put that fitting, put that fitting in the bottom of here, then reconnect it. Then once you try, put put that fitting in here. And that's going to pretty much screw back in the same spot. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, knock this out. I'm going to try to mount my phone so I can see the process. And uh, I'm going to rock out like that. There's a gentleman over there. They doing a trailer repair over there. So, I couldn't get, I couldn't get these bolts off with the wrench because it was too it was too big and then trying to use the smaller plier they had this they had to put these on with a uh a driver buddy let me use this got them jokers right off so if you're removing this make like it's a uh, washer they got washers that's underneath the screw so make sure you don't lose them washers okay so i got that screw off I should 
that ain't coming off like that easy. So I, fi I finally got it off. Um, as you can see, I finally got it off. I had to, like I couldn't get this, get this part off. So whereas I can remove this hose and then just only take the gasket off. So I was trying to be, you know, careful and not damage this other end of the hose, but it is what it is. I was careful enough to get it off. I had to pry this off because like it was wedged on there so hard and it had moved that I couldn't move it with my hand, so I had to use the wrench and kind of and kind of beat it off. Pause. <laughs> But I had to, you know, use the um, use the wrench and, and beat it loose. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. Hopefully, we're done soon. There we go. Well, I gotta still tighten this part back up. Let's say, well, we're done. Remember, always remember. Righty tight, lefty loose. Buddy definitely came through clutch. That was perfect timing. Because if I, if I didn't have that drill or that driver, I'd have never been able to power socket, whatever the fuck it's called. I'd have never been able to get that loose. But I'm definitely going to be investing in one of them myself. But I probably end up getting the, instead of the Milwaukee version, I probably end up get, getting the Dwight version, I mean the DeWalt version, because I already have a few DeWalt power tools. So it wouldn't make no sense to you know, switch, switch up. And I already got batteries for the DeWalt system, so. I ain't gonna do them dirty and put that on there too tight. But yeah, so I'm probably. Now we finna see if it's any air leaks. Pressing the brake coming from here, so we should be good to go. Yeah, so there we go. We did we did everything. Like I say, buddy came through clutch with the Milwaukee tool. I was able to get this puppy changed out. As you can see, that's the broke one. This one was made by duty or uh, utility. That's what it say. Ut utility. This one is made by serve, I mean by Phillips. Um, and they fit perfectly. I guess they probably like a universal fit. But yeah, so I had to take them two bolts off and then uns unscrew this from the bottom of that and then reconnect everything the same way. But again, watch out for the washers and them, uh, the, the washers just underneath the bolts. You should be good to go. So hopefully, Hopefully this video helps somebody out. If y'all ever end up in this type of situation, now y'all know how to get it changed. That this just saved me, Lord knows how long. I'm gonna ask the service guy if they got called to come out and do this same um, service, how much would it cost? And if, if, if they let me know, then I'll drop it in the video. Uh, if 
If not, you know, I, I'll probably call around or something and see how much something like that would cost. But, um, not, I don't, not, but it don't talk to me. You see y'all in the next one. I'm out. One more thing before I go. I finally just got a load that's gonna get me up out of here. What, and I gotta air this tire up because the tire got a, um, one of the tires, tires on the trailer is faulty. But need to invest in one of these. Got this from uh, Pilot Truck Stop. What you pretty much do is connect this to your service, to your service airline. Like you take, I'm gonna take this off. You connect it to your service airline and it sends constant airflow through to the um, holes. I'll show y'all what that look like in a sec. Yeah, so I already got it hooked up. I'll show y'all what that look like, but, but yeah, you just go ahead. I'm tripping. I didn't, I didn't release my uh, trailer, trailer air. So ain't no air coming through. Gotta release that red valve. And as you can see, I took the red airline off. And I got it hooked up. Come like that. So that now constant air is going through that hose. Yeah, then you just go ahead, take the hose. Put it on the valve and it airs up. But this tire is completely, completely deflated. So, it's gonna take some time to put some air in here.